Center in EHT is where everyone's lawn and garden should begin. Family owned and operated since 1964. Stop in and see what we have to offer. Visit bobsgardencenter.com or follow us on Facebook. Happy Friday, everyone. It is a beautiful day out there. Lots of sunshine, but it is incredibly comfortable. Those dew points are so low that we have fallen down into the 50s and 40s, leading to the really just stunning conditions that we've been experiencing throughout the day today. Now it doesn't last forever. Hopefully you can enjoy the rest of your afternoon because as soon as overnight tonight and into tomorrow, we're going to see those dew points jump back up into the 70s. So we will be feeling very muggy over the weekend. Good news is that doesn't stick around for very long either. We'll be feeling more comfortable by the start of next week with those dew points falling behind our next approaching cold front. Overnight tonight is where I said you'll start to feel a little bit of a difference, especially towards early tomorrow morning. That's when the moisture starts to roll in. It's going to give us a couple of extra clouds overhead, even a little bit of some patchy fog. You'll be feeling that humidity as soon as you head out the door early tomorrow morning. And then throughout your Saturday, we're going to be feeling not only the mugginess in the air, but directly overhead, we'll be seeing a lot of extra moisture in the way of additional cloud coverage, mostly cloudy skies, still some sunshine. Don't get me wrong. It's not going to be overcast and gray all day long. You will be seeing some sun, but you'll definitely notice more clouds out there, a little bit less of that blue sky. And we are also seeing that small chance for some rain maybe even a couple of thunderstorms. Now, what we're talking about as far as small chances, that's going to be during the heart of the afternoon. The high pressure from today will be leaving us behind. We're tracking this cold front moving towards our area. Again, the clouds move in early tomorrow morning. Throughout the afternoon itself, we could be dealing with just a couple of scattered little showers, maybe one or two quick little thunderstorms, but really most of the activity holds off until very late Saturday. I'm talking probably just before midnight, if not after. And then into very early Sunday morning, we'll see those storms roll across our area. So your Sunday morning in particular, looking a little on the messy side, and then throughout your Sunday, as that front gets a little bit closer, some more scattered showers on the way. And then kind of as that front gets off the coastline, things will fire back up again. But a lot of the stronger activity for Sunday evening will hopefully be offshore, not having too much of an impact. For your beach forecast again tomorrow, some extra clouds, definitely on the humid side. You might even be seeing a little bit of some fog for the early morning hours, kind of mid to late morning. It does eventually clear out, but then you have the clouds overhead anyway. So maybe not the most perfect beach day. You can still go shopping. You can still walk the boardwalk, things like that. But as far as a beach day, yeah, it might not be the best. Sunday is when we see the storms in the morning, as well as some activity kind of throughout the afternoon. Temperatures are in the 80s, even down the shore with the humidity. It'll be feeling very, very warm. And then Monday, Picture perfect, stunning. Once again, temperatures a little bit lower, plus the humidity lower as well. We are keeping a close eye on the tropics. I mentioned this yesterday. We had our one area in red of potential formation. That has been bumped up to about a 100% chance in the next 48 to 48 hours to seven days. This will most likely be uh, our next named storm barrel on the way for later today, maybe even tomorrow. And now we have this yellow area of formation. That's for a wave that was set back a little bit further off to the east. That is gonna be rolling into the same sort of environment that could lead to some development later on this week with that secondary system. Seven day forecast, we go up, then we go back down, and we go back up again. So this weekend, hot and humid and a little stormy. And then for Monday and Tuesday, we cool down a little bit. Things get a bit more comfortable. And then by midweek, we are cranking up the heat once again. Temperatures could be well into the 90s by Thursday and Friday. Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed the rest of your afternoon. I'll check back in with you later on this evening.